What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 30 of On Shape. We're going to continue on with our trammel here, and uh, what I'm going to do now is a little bit of file management right off the get go. So, with this bottom up design, we're going to create a bunch of different part studios and then bring our parts together. So, what I'm going to do right here is I'm right click and we're going to rename this first part studio as Trammel Base. That way, when I start to pull all of them in, I know where they are and what they what they can do. So I'm going to click on plus, we're going to create part studio, and now we're going to create our slides. So I'm going to right click and rename this as slides. Keyword is slides there because we're actually going to make both slides here pretty quickly um, using reusing some of our work. So first thing I'm going to do is bring up my drawing file. If you do not have this drawing file, uh, you need to talk to your teacher, you need to ask where there is, if they can hand it to you, or you can pull it um, kind of as needed. Uh, I unfortunately won't be able to provide it. So I'm going to click on sketch, we're going to do top plane, and let's go ahead and make our other two planes invisible because I really don't need them anymore. <clears throat> Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle, and this rectangle, let's go ahead and dimension it. Our total width here is going to be, uh, looks like one and a three quarters inch. And our total height here is going to be uh, 0.734. Okay, hit the check mark, and we're looking good. This first bottom layer of my slide has a total height of looks like 0.355. Hit the check mark, and we're already looking good. What I notice now is that um, you can kind of go two different directions. You can try building the whole part and, and chamfer, but I found it most successful just to chamfer as you building the part. And so we're gonna go ahead and chamfer all these four corners to a distance of, I believe, is going to be eighth of an inch. Okay. There we go, we've already got our bo a bottom piece made. Now for both slides, they're actually gonna have this chamfer of a quarter inch on them for both of them. So I'm gonna build up to where they are the same, and then we're gonna mirror them and then build off them separately. So we got our, our quarter or eighth inch chamfer. I'm gonna iron click on sketch, top plane, hit view normal two, and we're gonna draw our lines here, or our rectangle for our top piece. So what I notice is that this piece right here has got some very, I'm gonna call it um, unique dimensions. And so um, we're gonna dimension the top of our rectangle here to this distance is going to be um, a distance of one, or sorry, point, 0 0.141. And this distance here is also gonna be 0 0.141. We notice is that some automatic constraints um, given on what we've drawn are gonna pop up. We're just gonna click on those once and delete them. Typically, um, some interesting things like to happen like we see right here. And so I'm just gonna control Z and we continue to have problems. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm not going to use the rectangle. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some lines. What I find a little bit uh, troublesome here is that um, when you are trying to uh, dimension or put in lines, geometric constraints can auto automatically put in with on shape. And so I find myself, if I'm having a hard time with a shape, I just create the lines and then finish out the shape. So this uh, length of this line is going to be 1.75 automatically straightens it out for me, and the distance between this line and this line, let's try that again, and that's gonna be 0.141. Okay, all right, what is the problem with that now? Okay, there we go, that looks good. So let's do the distance between this line and this line is also gonna be 0.141, okay. What I notice is that we still need to finish these shapes right here. There is more than one correct way to do this, and I'm willing to bet I'm not even doing the fastest way. So what it is, we've got a rectangle there, and I believe all of our dimensions are now good, and we're good, ready to roll. So when I extrude this up, 
the total height here, the remaining height, based off my drawing file, I actually have to do some math. But on shape will do the math for you. You just tell it what to do. And so this is going to be 0.844 minus 0.355. And it does all of the math for me. Looks good. Let's go ahead and chamfer these four edges now. There we go. So we got all four edges chamfered. We just now have to type in our distance for that chamfer, and that is an eighth inch again, 0 0.125. And there we go. We now have the body of our first slide. What am I going to do now? Well, my other slide, my pen slide, starts to differ from here. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to mirror this body. The mirror plane we're going to put on this side right here, and we're going to create it as a new. That way I have my part one and part two. Part one, you're going to right click and rename that as a screw slide. And then the other one we're going to right click and rename as pen slide. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make my pin slide invisible and then just start to work on the rest of my screw slide here. Okay, let's keep on going. What do I need to do next? We've got our base and our body looking like good. All I need now is throw in my center hole. So I'm going to go to the bottom side here. Okay, and I'm going to click on this, make a sketch on this bottom side. All right. What I notice is that the center of my rectangle here, all right, we don't know if it's actually through zero, zero right here. So I'm gonna draw a line bisecting both of my lines right here. And I'm able to confirm that this center dot here, the origin is actually through the center of my part. So I actually don't need these lines and we're able to build off of this part right here. What I do know is that we have a hexagon. That hexagonal piece. And then we also have a through hole. So the dimension of this through hole is going to be, uh, I believe, 0.177. That's all the way through. And the dimension of this hexagonal piece for the nut to hold on to has 0.386 in diameter. Okay, we have the green check mark and we're good to go. I'm going to use this same sketch twice. The first one is going to be for this hole and we're going to remove it to where it to go for it to go all the way through. Hit the check mark, and we're going to extrude that sketch again. So I'm going to make sketch three active. And this hexagonal piece, I'm going to flip it. It will be removed, but that depth is not all the way through. It is to a depth of 0.255 inches. Hit the green check mark, and there we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made our screw slide. Now, I printed these as white, so I'm going to right click and edit this appearance to be a white color, all right, and then we're going to go ahead and make that invisible, and now we're going to make our pin slide visible. Okay, what are we going to do here now? Well, let's make uh, sketch three invisible because I don't need that anymore. All right, the only difference between the screw and the pin slide is that this one has a fillet in a different type of hole. So we're going to fill it this edge right here and this edge right here and that's the rest of the geometry that's the only thing that's different between these two pieces is this one has a fillet and a different type of hole that fillet radius is 0.25 we hit the check mark all right and the only thing we need to do now is to make a counter bore hole on the bottom here so we're going to click on sketch Right click, hit view normal too, and we're running into a problem. My origin's over here, but where do I know the center of my line is going to be? So we have to use some construction lines. So we're going to draw a midline going down and a midline going through my part here. 
I'm going to click on these two lines, right click, make them construction, because we're not actually going to use them to help us construct our uh, uh, slide right here. And then we have a counter bore hole going through right here. So since this is a counter bore with a circular hole, we can actually uh, just put a point right here. Make sure it's on both of them. Okay. Hit the check mark. And now we can just add a hole. So, what type of hole is this going to be? It's going to be a counter bore. I'm sorry, this is actually a counter sink. I'm sorry. No, that's right. It is a counter bore. All right, we have a counter bore. It is through. The inside radius or inside diameter uh, is going to be 0 0.165. All right, and the outside diameter is going to be 0 0.177, and the depth of that bore is going to be 0 0.633. Okay, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we have our screw slide, or sorry, our uh, pin slide made. So let's go make both of these visible. All right, and here's what I have so far, is we have our two trammeled bases, we have the top layer and the bottom layer, and now we have our two screw slide and pin slide made. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, let me know. This video, I'm, we're starting to be able to hopefully soon be able to make an assembly of all this put together. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comment section. I would love to help you out. If this video has been helpful as far as creating some materials, please, please, please like and subscribe. If there's anything I can do better, absolutely feel free to reach out. Until then, I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.